cross-country athletes, the first things that come to mind are that they're the people who have mastered the ability of proper breathing and as well as possess an unending supply of oxygen. They're the ones who overtake you in the hallways and as well as manage to get first in line in the cafeteria. Well, why don't we head over to the track right now and get to know the faces of the Bearcats cross-country athletes. Do you think it's a cross-country faux pas to walk during a race? Well, that depends, because... <laughs> <laughs> we'll kill you. So oh, no, <laughs> don't walk during a race. The best way is, even if you're not as fast as some of the other runners, it's always good to never give up. So you gotta be consistent. Yeah, it's cross country is about enduring pain for as long as you can. So it's, even if you're not the fastest, it's about getting Hard to the boy. end of that race. Do you think it's true that people do cross country because they find other sports more difficult? Um, honestly, I don't think so. Like I myself, um, I played football last year and um, I just wanted to do cross because um, I have the feeling you, uh, te the teams, they bond better and um, yeah, I guess running is just more fun to me than any other sport. Um, no, I don't think so. Cross country, if you're looking for something easy, then I don't think cross country is the sport for you. But it is a sport that no one gets cut from, so if you're just looking to try it out, you can do it at many different levels. But if you want to be competitive for IASs, then it's definitely not easy and it's really difficult. So how would you sum up cross country in three words? Blood, sweat, tears. Do you guys have any pre-race rituals? Uh, we always walk a section of the course as a team together before the race. Then before the race, we get loose and get hype. <laughs> so what's the best part of a cross-country race? So I think in a 5K race, um, the last 2K is the most uh, important and most fun part of the race because that's where it starts to get really competitive. Mm -hmm. So is there a need for teamwork in cross-country? So I guess like there's a common misconception that cross country is just an individual sport where you just race on your own. But you need to consider the fact that we train two hours a day, four days a week, that's either eight hours or sometimes we train for two weeks before we race. So 16 hours just for 20 minutes of competing. And we do all of that together and it's, it's all just teamwork. Yeah, I think a lot of people think of cross country as like individual sport, but you're all like working together to achieve one goal. And like at Iasis, like each place you get counts towards your team, like total points. And so that, that determines like if you get a medal or not. And because like, at the end of the day, teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. So Bearcats, make sure to come and support your fellow cross country athletes the next time they have a race. So thanks so much for watching this episode of Bamboo Telegraph video and make sure to check out BambooTelegraph.com for more Bearcat news.